So we continue the treatment of angle groups. Can you just say, sorry, I haven't been here, in the, just, just quickly, just what do you approve in this? So first we see that our cost is over 40. Then we uh, take all the escalators, we divide them into slices. I mean, the first slice will be so the relationship of the top A B B forty times. You can't go there without all of without all the generality assume there is no cancellation. Yes, I think it's a bit bigger by increasing by two. And then we can also assume that the length of A is all A times of B. It's also increasing by because I replace the A, for example, which has here B and B by some A, B and A. So instead of just having this, it just go down the number of this. So the new A will be of the kind, say, A um, plus minus B plus minus 1. This is the new A. And then just by paying one more, you can do it a few times, for example, then I can achieve, maybe it's three times, I can achieve that it is A times, at least A times longer than B. And then, of course, it is. The new A has the symmetric properties. Its beginning is just like its end inverse, etc. And here we have the symmetry break because we assume that B is cyclically reducible. And, okay, and it is. And, uh, all these kind of assumptions can be done without any harm. So then the first group will be at the length of A. One and two to the power ten. That's the first one. Yes, the first one. The second group will be the A to the power ten to the power twenty, so it's a So we divide it into two groups. Now, and then, of course, we know that if we have to the letters of the first group. So 
but it depends for fat even in the first case. Yet from the same moment, huh? We, for the same size. Of course, we, we, we now we consider the same. And what we are, what we done? We take so this group it in itself it uh, exhibits the properties of smooth acceleration, assuming that we properly done the contact with relative itself. Because we can also consider the situation that this relator has some contact with itself. Yes. But then we know that, for example, the strongest interaction is in the following form. That this is most to the neighboring. This is both the following way. B to the power alpha, B to the power alpha, B to the power beta. What you say? Here is a word that we call T2 of AB. So actually, we can look at it. That this will be the south and north, and this will be east and west. So this actually is 
circulation of the different uh, powers of B on the top and the bottom, the same power of B in the middle. It could continue the same way. Now, we may have another picture here. It goes also here with B squared, also the, the same pattern here. In the same pattern here, but this also this will be east and west, north and south, etc. Now, and then the context here is along. This is actually T3 is one uh, eighth, because eight of them. So this is roughly half, roughly a quarter, a two to eight and a quarter. So the context is roughly a quarter. This is the biggest possible, this is the biggest possible context between them. And otherwise, they will manage with these different powers of alpha and beta. So, and then it means that when we do this thing, then actually, in, in a map, it must have this will be four at least four contacts for the sides, and then we have also four contacts for the beta. So at least it means that each 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 such map in any case will have at least at least at least eight labels. I mean, I speak when it has contact with the um, cells of the same type. It's, it's, uh, it's, relation, it's basic relation with that. Huh? Yes, but it may be a model that we take out of the powers of beta on these two yeah. sides. But this we consider as, 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 as one. They merge to as one to the And then, as a maximum, because then they just merge as commutators, because basically, basically this is a commutator. And then we can assume that it is one size is the power alpha and the power beta. Now then these are considered as merging of this already. So when we take other other other, uh, other region at the same time, so the maximum involvement may be just like a quarter. Quarter minus one actually, quarter minus one. And then it means it, in any case it should have at least eight labels by a quarter on four sides, and then we have the extra letter B meet another square of consistency. So the claim is that it satisfies small translation, but not metrical ones. Not? Not metrical ones. No, no, just the number of labels. We count the number of labels. In the case, why we need this? Because now we say, when we... Uh, what is our... So how... What is our approach? Let me, let, let me remind it. We took zero one and half, and we fixed a constant lambda zero, lambda one, lambda two, lambda three. All of them bigger than a half, but say definitely less. Three quarters, for example. But, uh, but uh, this is now the constant are with respect to what? With respect to the to the to basic. The X, uh, no, we 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 consider the basic uh, the, 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 the length measure. Well, we only taking the length of the A letters. No, no, that's okay. But but what type? What are the relations that we consider? You, you define these, these are relations that we consider of this type, mm -hmm. them, but you define some new relations, define some new relations now, right? No, no, these, these are the relations we, we consider. These are the basic relations? Yes. No, 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 but uh, I mean, to deal with these commutators, you glue, you glue several things together. Yes, so alpha and beta could take any integer, uh, but this, uh, Okay, so you take, you take all of that, yeah? All of this, yes. All of this included. Now, when, when we just uh, looking on the length of the area, let us see. From the point of view, if we take only, uh, when, when we count the measure, only looking on the A aspect of it. It's the same. 
This is the same because the same disease doesn't pay, this does not uh, be taken into account. Okay, now what we're asking. So we fix our constants. But we did check in general the fact that you see what you did here a procedure of taking relations, glue them, and defining some new relations. Here, because uh, so I, I actually I assume that here we already have taken these relations with with arbitrary alpha and beta. No, but this 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 general technique of, of finding uh, semi-canonical and canonical representatives. So what the uh, it, it was clear it, it works in uh, in small under small under standard small constellation. So how it works in our case? First thing we have set we have fixed a set of the relations. Yes. Now, they these, are, these, are, these are basic relations. These are basic relations. Oh, For the first group. group. What? Basic relations in rank one. Yes, yes, but, but, but these, are, these are included as basic relations. These are arbitrary alpha and beta yes. as integer parameters. Yes. Okay, now we fix it our uh, parameters. Okay. Just a second. Uh, when you say arbitrary, the, can be an arbitrary integer? Of course, course. an arbitrary integer. Positive, what? negative. Not bounded by, by 2 to the 10? No, no, no. Doesn't matter. Okay. All of them, the A length is the same. Yeah, right. But, so this, this group says that the, the, the Bs, you, you don't care. But of course, it's important. Yeah, yeah. Of course. They depend, each of these relations actually depend on two integer parameters. Now, then, we have our constants. We might think of them that they are close to one half, in which sense that our epsilon is very small. So, we have enough room to them to take in very apart, very close, very uh, distant one from the other in the, in, in the, sc in the scale of epsilon. But pretty close to one half. Now, so first we have our lambda zero. So we just consider the points that are lambda zero semi-canonical. The point is lambda zero semi-canonical. The measure is bigger than lambda zero. But if we have here these parameters, B, it could be arbitrary number. It doesn't matter. Because we don't count them in the measure. So then it is easily seen that every world has a present model of these relations to semi canonical because the biggest part we replace by this, the bigger part by the smaller part. So we know that this is a useful to these four values, but we don't care about the alpha system. Maybe that it does not So this is the first thing that we have the set of lambda semi canonical groups. Then we ask, given an element in the quotient group, which semi canonical words could represent this element? Now, and then the answer is that we also have a one layer diagram. So now, let me first of all find this one layer. But these are our relations. The relations may depend. Each relation may depend on two integer parameters. So this construction is unique only if we see it in the terms of A words. But it is not unique because some of this B may have a power integer parameter. So for example, here we may have 
sub b to the power of eta. For example, here sub b to the power of delta. Why not? In the media, different representatives of the same board with, say, uh, different values of integer parameter. For example, if this uh, every, every pass every pass in this one that is the diagram is this represents the same element. For example, if I'm going this way, whatever. But this, I will not have just one element. I will have a family of elements that depending on the value of parameters. For example, here, if I will change the value of delta, so this pass will be just a family of words which depend on the value of delta for different values of delta. We will have different representatives. Okay. This delta is not somehow carried out through all this. Uh this line? Uh, no, maybe the next one, the symmetry will be here. This need not be. It may be through this, but it may be this way also. No, but then it's determined by... by then it's determined. But it, it may be over here, for example, it... Is, for example, if here I'm going this way, then it will not... Maybe it will determine here, so this will be already, for example, it, it could be in a way that it doesn't matter, but I can change this parameter and I'll have different representatives for the same element. It depends on a, depend on a region. So, so, okay, so, so, so here, what you're claiming is here that because you know, you have this claim that, 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 that there's a one level, essentially, one, there's one level diagram, like, one layer diagram. Yes. Like. So here, here is some sort of parametric diagram. Exactly. As I was saying, if I'm looking at this variance as depending on the parameter, so we, we do have a one layer diagram, but it itself depends on the number of integer parameters. And the calligraph itself is not one layer. Of course not, but, but here we have it. And, and then, how we can exploit this? Because actually, we, what we, in order to find the canonical representative, we have to do two things. One, to find a, one particular path in this diagram, and then to fix the values of the parameter, because when we fix a, a certain path, so we may actually have, well, depending on integer parameter, then we have to fix the, in, in a consistent way the values of these parameters. When we have done two things, then we have established a canonical fault. So it means that there are many canonical faults? No. no. Because first we, we, we fix the path in this okay. diagram. After fixing it, still it depends on, 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 on the on parameter. Then we have to fix, to choose in some way, the value of the parameters. Yeah. Wow. After we have done this, then we have a single element representing, the, uh, a single word representing this no, element. But you have a systematic way to choose the parameters? Exactly, so, exactly this I'm saying. So, so let me say before. So, so, so actually, it splits in two procedures. One, to choose a pass. The other, to choose the values of the parameters. Now, but let me recall that when we have taken this one layer map, so we have a certain procedure how to choose a fixed pass inside this one layer map. Let me recall it. First, we take what we call the certified sub diagram. So each, each of these passes to be included. Each of the sides to be included in the certified diagram needs a witness to testify that when this witness exists, then it will certify this side. 
it, it doesn't exist, then we discard this side, and then we left with the code the certified diagram. And then, of course, our point is that when we are prescribing the rules, what can serve as a witness? So we, we can impose actually a number of rules that will manipulate the construction of the canonical form via the conditions of how we stipulate what is called a witness. But here is one difference. And then this next step will be just to choose the sides using a local competition. I mean local competition that we look, for example, assume all the survive in the uh, certified diagram, then we have we can go this way or that way, actually eight ways to go this just in this or that side, and then we have this word or this inverse and we previously what we have done, we have compared all of them lexicographically. Because we acted under the assumption that our words, our relations were not open squares, so there was one definite winner in this competition. Here, the situation changes. Because when we have this kind of diagram that I called and read that we have, actually a chain of this. Now let me say this is, for example, this is north and south, east and west, north and south, east and west, again, north and south, east and west. It could be actually very deep, but then, but it happens that this word, it, it turns out that this word is precisely what is this word. So actually, in each of, in this situation, in every local competition, they are just different. So you can, so, so they are just identical. So you cannot decide what will be the winner. Unlike the situation in the small calculation, if we assume that there is no two torsion, but the two torsion is the same, same, the same problem arises, but we just dismiss it, this, this kind of situation. No. But here will be something very interesting. Because here, actually, we will see that. The choice of one side depends only on the value of the parameters, because here we have inside it the same parameter uh, power of beta, uh, of b, b to the power alpha, so out of this, and we can just what will happen if we take alpha equals zero, then two passes became the same, if we wish. So, so actually, um, there is no actual difference between this. This is just a particular case when alpha equal to zero, then we just have the same pass. Why only alpha equals zero? Because then this collapses. Yes. What if it's alpha equals zero collapses? Yes. yes. So in actual and then, I mean this is just coincide precisely with that. Two sides precisely coincide. Yes. So, so let me see. So, what it is? So, actually, when we do this procedure, so in the rest of the one uh, layer, in the rest of the one layer map, we have a definite choice from the pass. So, for example, it will go this way, then this way, then it has this situation undecided, maybe it goes here, 
and the situation is undecided, etc. So actually, we will not have just a single pass, but plus the areas where this procedure does not give us a single answer, but in this very specific situation where we have this, uh, we call this area trains. Uh, this is uh, each of them in the wagon, so, and going together. But this is very, very specific. So our take is very specific situation. It is uniquely decided. Now, and then, and then, what happens? Um, actually, um, one specific thing may happen. So we have our relation on some side. And the pass to the entrance here and goes right here. This is possible. Because this is a half of the houses. This may be a possible winner. So, and then what remains undecided? The value of power of B. Because here we have B to the power alpha, and B to the power alpha. Alpha could be an arbitrary parameter. But this is in some part of it, fix some part, fix some part of it. So then, actually, we can look some, it with some very in the middle. So assume, for example, that alpha is very big. Actually, here we have this possibility, but in, we have also ways of crossing this to each B. For example, it could be this will be crossing this here, or crossing the next B, just enlarging the etc., etc., etc. Actually, let's also look on this this way. So all of them, so that is, and I consider this as a flat. And then all these are the ways of crossing this flat. Yeah. But here, I have two different options. When it comes here. I can take the, the, the closest the end of B and then cross it in this way. So this is the closest and so going this way. This is actually this is here. Or I can go with through this and, and cross it here and then come to here. So when I have passes from two different sides of it. So I have two ways to cross this flat, or to cross it immediately and then go to this point, or cross it on this side, cross it and then go to this point. So we have here two different ways to yeah. So we have to choose in order to in the uniqueness, we have to choose one of the two ways of crossing this fit. Then we have a difference between x and x inverse. Oh, the point is that we wish that our solution of this choice would be equivalent undertaking inverses. Okay. okay, here is the answer. So how, if we have the group z times z, how the choice and Equivalent canonical form. For, for example, this is generated by A, the other is generated by all the elements are called A to the power of M, B 
b to the power m or b to the power n, a to the power d, they are the same elements. So now, here what we do. If m bigger than 0, we take a to the power n, b to the power n. If m is less than 0, we take b to the power n, a to the power n. So this choice gives is equivalent the taking inverses. Because what will be the, uh, the inverse word? The inverse word will be a to the power minus m, b to the power minus m, right? If m was positive, this will be negative, and we have to choose b to the power minus m, a to the power minus m, which is the inverse of this. If m was negative, this would be positive, and then we have to take a to the power minus m, b to the power minus m, and here. So this word, in any case, this word is an inverse of this word. So actually, it, 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 it is a not a, such a simple, so not such a big deal. And well, this was enabled us to avoid extreme complication, because otherwise the canonical form would be dependent on changing on the direction. This was the earlier version of this. The problem starts when we look on words of the same relations, the same A and B appear with different signs. So then we had no choice but to define a canonical form where the direction, but one direction, a direction might change in different parts of, so here we have the direction, so with a variable direction. So we, we needed to consider normal form, not just one direction, or when the direction changes from a segment to a segment. And then it leads to extremely complicated theory. Here at once we avoid this, because then the canonical form that is equivalent our choice is equivalent on the taking inverses. And then we do not worry about the choice of the direction. And all these complications are advanced on it. Because here just we can just fix we can fix some direction on B, just make a choice between B and B inverse. So we know what is positive and it is positive, then we go according to this choice. If it's negative, it has a choice. And so we know how, how to cross it, whether to choose this one or this one, it depends on the signs. There it's not so simple, it's not just uh, the same. Because, we, because here, just the question is this pass or this pass, the commuting. And then we have just the power of B. If it is positive, we have what to do. If we have to have go a positive power, we will go to Z cross. If it's negative, we will first cross and then take the power of B. Now, so, so this is, uh, actually it only means that in this way we fix the value of the parameter because here it was depending on the power of V, and then we, when we choose one of these passes, it means that we fix the values of power of V on both sides. And this, this is what we needed. Okay, but actually, there was two more things that we have to see. So it could be that this was to say a simple plate, but we may also have Composite flats. What does it mean? Composite first in this way of the, on the train. Here it was this power of B in the middle, the same power through on the train, B out here. Now the situation that we have 
chose the path only when it comes in the middle of it. Somewhere in the middle of it. This was the situation where we undecided because we do not count the bees, and the answer is exactly the same on both sides. So here we do the same. So we just have an option to cross it exactly at the site where we decided. Actually, it means going. It means actually, like yes, or going here. Actually, it means each path like this, we get this T2, our B, T2. It's a, just up to T3, of course. The, the, so, so this is one way, this other way, and then in, the, in this way we, we fix the value of b's in the axis. Now, and then we have not just one thing, but see, a, a composite flag consisting of all of this together. Because actually it could, it, actually every value could be different, and then we have just their Levels not accustomed one to the other. But here we already assume it is. Now, here another possibility is that we have such a relation and here the relation is corresponding to let me actually let me And the relation is T2 of A1B, T2 of A1B. So it corresponds to the coordinates of A1B, B. and the next one need be But in the case, some, some common, uh, some common power will be identical. The multiple of the power. In any case, and then here, this word T two of a one of b and T two of a two of b may have only a minuscule contact because then we know that they belong to different angular relations. So we may have here no more than six. If A2, for example, is bigger than A1, well, there is no more than 16, uh, uh, 16 appearances of A2 here. So it would be very, very small upper. So, so, so when it was the same, and it was up to a quarter of the world, up, 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 up to A1, A2, the world, one side, one other side. Well, that's not bad. If it is different, A1, A2, then this is very small. It doesn't matter. But we have we can may have many of this kind. Do it together to so something very small, then we have and this what we will call a composite net. That is just gluing together many simple things or many simple things. Now in, in any case, the question is that we come to this. But, but the power of B is unbounded, yes? So the power of B. The power is all of them, they say B. No, no, the power of B yes. is unbounded. Still of course, it was the same way. Yeah. It could be any service, any, any, any integer. Maybe, maybe we need multiples of a certain power, but it doesn't matter. So we can cross all of them together in certain place. Actually, the crossing means we're going this way. Returning to this, etc., etc., et this way. Or if this contact is here, we can do the same, but on the other way. And, and, and so we continue to cross in the set until we come to this. 
And then we have the same choice to take one of the other, but it's okay. Now, then, so this is, this was, we had done one composite flat, so we reached it at some point. So at the point, we cross a bit. It may be this way or that way, then we have just to check what way is appropriate according to the coming fault. Now, we have reached maybe another flat. Then we may have another flat again. Now, it may be the same B, or it may be the different B, but in the way that they do not do together. Somehow these flats are completely disjoint. Yes, they could be, yes, they, yes, because here we already took, we, we, we took together all of this, we were able to lose them together. So these are disjoint. So what happens here? I have to see how this path is chosen, because here we have the power of B, here we have a power of B, and then we take just, we take the cancellation of it as long as possible with the power of the two sides. So this is uniquely determined way between them, so another, etc., etc., then what happened? Then we take, we, we cross them appropriately and choose the rest of us. We cross them, etc., etc., etc. So this is finally the way we define the canonical form of a linear mode. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah,